Hello guys, welcome back to my let's play of Blue Dragon. On our last episode, we actually have defeated an ocean dragon. Azure Abyssal Dragon, I believe it was called. So, um, on the 27th of August, my uh, cat has actually unfortunately passed away, so... Well, you can check my other video. I made a video explaining what happened to my uh, cat. My cat. So I'm still a bit upset about it. So uh, yeah. Um. Anyway, we will have to look around the place because there is actually, I think, one or two black barriers, if you remember correctly. We did actually get a black barrier removal device. Infinity Earring. Mystery Part Deux. 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 Whatever the hell that says. Level Six. Shadow Us. Alright guys, so I'm going to speed it up now because I don't technically know where these black barrier walls are, so uh, I'm going to be looking around pretty much uh, every uh, under every rock, every room, so yeah, let's do it. Yay. Okay, so we're just going to get rid of this giant Phyllis. And now we can open the treasure chest. Renew bracelet. Uh, let's just go to Devour Village. Then go to the exit so we can get to our ship. Now there is a village, I can't actually remember what it's called, but it should be in the northern continent, I think. Basically just a very snowy village, not the looter of course, talk about a different one, I just can't remember what it's called. Alright, let's go and... Where's the map? Okay, I really don't know where I am. Oh, wait. Okay, people. Let's to our next destination. Our next destination, which I don't know where it is. Our next destination is... 
Uh, over here. Okay, enough singing. No more singing. God damn it. Are you singing along too? Oh, you better be singing because I'm gonna get your ass. You better be watching what I'm singing. Sorry, I can't really help myself. This tune is just very nice. Blah blah blah. Alright guys, sorry about that. I finally found the place. I actually had to look on uh, look online for it. Anyway. So here we are on the map. We're actually very near the uh, let's have a look at our car. Well, it's called Lao Camp or something like that. It's basically where the uh, sheep people are. Alright, we've got a treasure chest right here. Heart of Eternal Engine. Alright guys, so we are going to Colasso Village. Yeah, I finally remembered the name. Playable. Alright, well, this is Colasso Village. Now if I do remember correctly, there should be a treasure chest right behind the village. If my memory serves me correctly. At least I think there's one. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, oh actually no, uh, that's the entrance actually. Pe Hold on. There's uh, something I want to show you guys. Get ready for some scary shit. Holy shit, what is that? Look at that. Does it mean that everybody has a shadow? Wow. Let's go. Alright, people, I am. Do you have any idea what that could be? Well, as you saw just a few seconds ago, we are actually going to go into the entrance. Metal. And there's a treasure chest right here, so I was half right. There was a treasure chest somewhere. Item. Mega MP up elixir. I'll see you down there in a minute. And we're inside the house. Wow! There are so many! Shh! Keep quiet. They might be part of Nene's group. Playable. Well, let's have a look what is on the other side of the door. Hello, I like to take this plant. It's Christmas, I see. Wait, wait, it's Christmas? Oh. Oh my. Don't <gasps> like Dragon Ball. What are they wearing? Playable. Dragonborn. Dragonborn everywhere. Why is there, why is there so many Dover Kings? Hello Dover King. Um, I mean um you make me blush. Oh, how queer. 
That guy in red is named... Oh, he's called Maramara. How did you know that? Hmm, it's a festival. A festival. <laughs> That's no excuse to drink so much. <laughs> Don't be hard nosed. Come have a good time with me. Join. She's shy. So, she's uh, very shy. So very nervous. Hey, you better not lose it. Oh no, if I lose it, we won't be able to go down below. I beg your pardon. There'll be none of that here, young man. Or young lady. We might be able to get down from here. Yeah, maybe. Oh, I like this music. Alright, I just gotta try and remember what to do. I'm glad you came. The festival is still going on below. Alright. Am I allowed to go there? This place was built above ground, so we could see the view outside and have a drink. This place here, which means you really live in an underground house? You catch on quick, young man. Use that skill, skill to find the entrance to our village. Join. What are you talking about? What? Alright, so he finally let us, uh, thank you mister, so he finally let us be able to go down below, I wasn't, I didn't really understand why he didn't earlier, Playable. I think you just have to talk to him a couple of times, anywho we'll see what is underground, Colasso village underground, Playable. what the heck is that? Someone's over there. Let's talk to them. Alright, we shall talk to them. What are they saying? They're not very friendly, are they? Who are these people? She's beating me to it! Beating her to it? Well, it's kind of hard to answer that. They're friends. Just friends. Hmm. Uh, Alright, what's going on here? Apparently a young girl at her age wants to get married. He really wants to get married, huh? That badly. I will be a bride. 
Oh, Minge, no! Oh, oh, wait. Mm, I get it. Marmaru does, does not want Lollicon. He wants big breasted women like Zola. You can't leave. Marry me, Marmaru. Mar, I wanna get out of here. We have to get Marmaru to calm down. Yeah boy, come back. Marmaro, where did you go? Oh, there he is. Ah! The man of my of my dreams. Marry, marry, you me. Marriage, marriage. What if you want marriage? Come on, marry me now. Marriage again? No, means no. Hey, Marmaro, calm down. No way! No more of this place! It just vanished. Huh. So unusual. Ah yes, to be young! Who the hell are you, lady? Why we all wear headgear? Uh. No, not really. What? What did she? Where did she go? She must be inside the house. Let's go find her and hear the rest. Join. Are you a wizard? Oh wait, when Marmaro come back. Why is everybody out? Everyone out tomorrow? Yeah, why are all these lollicons after? I'll wait for him in his bedroom. Oh god, please. There will be no lollicon hentai in this game, thank you. Oh, there she is. She'll be watching anyway. That your egg? You don't know? Uh, beats me. So why do you wear headgear? What? She disappeared again. You're no good at asking. Let's not fight. Let's find her. What the, what the hell was that? Camera got in the way. Anyway. Metal. I'm just checking the furniture. Metal. Oh look, there's a mirror. Alright, so we gotta find the old hag again. And she doesn't move very far. Do you want me to tell you? Sure, I'd like to know. And she's disappeared again. And again. Join. Oh, please, woman, stop doing that. Cause it's cold! Is that the only reason? Well, don't you go and underestimate the value of headgear, dearie. It's fantastic at insulating our heads. And she disappeared again with that lousy answer. Damn it, I'm not giving up. Join. Well, it's a good thing we don't have to move very far. There she is. Now allow me to discuss this with you properly. Our headgear is like a charm that attracts happiness. How does it do that? Once upon a time, there was a small flourishing country nearby. And there lived a very sad princess who never laughed. One day it was announced that a reward was available to anybody in the land who could make the princess laugh. Young people from all over the country traveled great 
distances and tried. But nothing they did would break a smile across the princess's face. Among the many, there was a young man from this village who presented himself to the princess with headgear on, similar to the ones we are wearing. The princess didn't laugh, but the young man took off his headgear. He kept taking off headgear after headgear, and still you couldn't see what was underneath. At first, the princess ignored him, but then she wanted to know what was underneath the headgear, and couldn't take her eyes off of him. She was transfixed. Then what happened? He drew off the last piece of headgear and his shirt to reveal a smiling face hand-drawn on his stomach. Huh? The man boldly asked the princess to marry him. It caught her so off guard that she laughed so hard she almost couldn't say yes. Did they get married? Oh, yes. The king was a very kind man with a sense of humor, and he granted the princess permission to marry. Afterward, the young man and the princess spent their newlywed life here, in this village, and she was quite smitten with the headgear. Since then, we have always worn headgear. It's a charm that attracts happiness, just like it did for that happy young couple long ago. And that is why, my friends, everyone in this village wears headgear, so they can always be happy. But what does this have to do with all the marriage proposals that Marumaro is getting? Ah, that's simple, dear. In this village, Wearing a single piece of headgear indicates that one wants to get married. <laughs> As you can see, that boy over there is only wearing one hat. Well, yeah, but that's just what a typical Devi wears. Shoo! Hero! Cook! Lady Zola! Help! <laughs> hey, Mara Maru! Why don't you just get married? I'm sorry, ladies. Marubaro is my dear friend. Please, give up hopes of marrying him. I have to do this. There, you see? Just so you know, I only did it to help a friend. Even so, Mara's so happy! I guess you do have a nice side. <laughs> that was bold. I thought it was very cool. Unfortunately, those little lollycons, I mean little girls, cannot Marry my mother. Oh well. Our oh, girls have a dream that I think is very important. Alright, so now we'll have to figure out what to do now. Oh, we got a warp device right here. Alright guys, this is where we're going to have to end it for today. It's a pretty short episode today, I think. So I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>